It is somewhat of an understatement to say that Hugo Chavez has been one of President Bush's fiercest critics. Chavez, the president of Venezuela, a country with some of the largest oil reserves in the world and a place of enormous economic and social inequalities, has called President Bush an assassin, an imperialist, an alcoholic, and the devil. He blames U.S. multinational corporations for taking advantage of Venezuela's natural resources and for not rightfully compensating his government and its people. Despite Chavez's tough rhetoric, the United States is still his biggest customer, with 60% of Venezuela's oil shipped to the energy-thirsty shores of the U.S. The underground has come to Venezuela to attend a military commemoration for Chavez and to talk to defense officials and Chavez supporters about Venezuela's problems with the U.S. and if there were any chance of resolving them. No queremos el, el imperio norteamericano porque ha hecho desastre en estos países latinoamericanos, ha empobrecido estos países. Pero ya el pueblo y el mundo ha despertado. El presidente ha sido punta de lanza para el mundo. Eh, vuelvo y te repito, es el gobierno guerrerista de Bush. Y nosotros sabemos que sí hay intereses del, del imperio norteamericano con los países que, que tienen energía, tanto gas y petróleo. Yo me atrevo a decir responsablemente que la crisis ahorita de Estados Unidos es virtual para crear una incomodidad en el mismo pueblo norteamericano, para presionar, para que el gobierno busque, buscar energías para ellos de otros lugares en forma de guerra violenta, como lo ha hecho en Irak y en otros países. Pues. Helped by Chavez's frequent criticism of the U.S., bush bashing has developed almost into a national sport among Chavez supporters. Bueno, chicos, ¿tú no le ves la cara del loco que tiene U? No, del grado de, 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 me imagino yo, de alcoholismo que tendrá ese hombre en su cuerpo. Es más aún, el padre le dijo una vez, tú no sirves para un coño, y le, y, le dijo, y le dijo él, no, papá, yo voy a cambiar, voy a ser gobernador de, de Texas. Y por ahí comenzó la carrera política, porque él era un vago en los Estados Unidos. Mantenido por el papá y estudió todo. Y llegó por medio de influencia a los Estados Unidos. No es mentira. No es mentira. It can be said that Chavez's hatred of the U.S. government is personal. Chavez has accused the United States of trying to sabotage his government because of its anti-business stance and his decision to nationalize all of Venezuela's oil. He said Washington was behind a 2002 coup that briefly removed him from power, and he blames the U.S. for instigating a series of crippling oil strikes led by Venezuela's business communities. Chavez used the military celebration we attended today to display newly purchased Russian fighter jets and tanks in hopes of convincing the world that his country was ready if anyone would try to invade. Jesús González is the strategic commander of the Venezuelan Armed Forces. We are preparing, look, we are building each other more and more with our people, conscientizing our people of the risk that Venezuela the represents for Venezuela, the power of the United States. We are convincing everyone, and we have advanced much in this direction. Without doubt, the United States has been the imperial that dominates the world at this moment. We have been away from them, and we have been able to work with freedom, and we have been able to work with freedom, and we have been able to work with freedom, and we have been able to work with freedom, and we have been able to work with freedom, and we have been able to work with freedom, and we have been able to work with freedom, and we have been able to work with freedom. Look, I'm going to tell you something. One of the most powerful countries in Latin America is Venezuela. So you know. It's not because I'm a Venezuelan. But I'll tell you something. Ninguno, ni los colombianos, ni los peruanos, ni los argentinos, no señor. Aquí va a tener que matarnos en la raya. Despite their president's tough talk, Chavez supporters remain hopeful that relations between the U.S. and Venezuela can improve. Francisco Javier Arias Cárdenas is Venezuela's ambassador to the United Nations. We have the hope that the same thing that happened with the husband of Mrs. Clinton, that could be called perfectly the president, could happen with Hillary, or could happen with Barack Obama, that we could have a president in the United States that understands and respects our process, that is our aspiration, and not that we have a person or a group of workers that thinks we see ourselves as our back door. Respect, 
y respeto mutuo es lo que permitirá que podamos crecer y respetarnos con el pueblo, con el gran pueblo norteamericano. Pareciera que el que apunta a, a, a dirigir una política de entendimiento más bien, de, de integración, de acercamiento, bien distante de la que ha mostrado los otros candidatos. Lo queremos mucho. Lo queremos. Y no el pueblo de Estados mucho. Unidos también está despertando Despertar. con los grupos que está haciendo bus, llevándolos a los, a los muchachos a la guerra. The irony in all of this is that with the U.S. war in Iraq raging, as well as the instability and scarcity of oil at an all-time high, the United States may not be able to afford to lose a supplier like Venezuela or become complete enemies with Hugo Chavez.